Can I just choose a random hero? I'm gonna choose a random hero. Get your old random hero. Who? Oh, started. He's in. It's the restoration grid. Now we probably want to bring our equipment for this as well, right? It's been so long since we've played this. I think we found human though, because they can get more teams and they were quite OP. But this is a different version of the map, so I'm not sure exactly what's changed. Yeah. Just pick anything other than human. I might pick on dead or something. Be on natural undead. Or maybe I go night off the What do you want to see? Undead or night off? I see. I can only have two screens up at a time and I fell spirit. Can move my units if you need to. I've got rejuvenation, which would be handy to keep me alive. Thorns are what I could like to use this person in the long run. I guess I'm more of a support hero right now. So I don't think you would put too much money into making my hero do If he's got Thorns or when do I get Mountain Giant? <laughs> Did I get that? Game is too loud. Oh, okay, yeah. It is a noisy game. Warcraft 3 has to be very specific on its volume. Don't forget you got like a healing cell and a clarity potion. They got a Naga. They got two Blade Masters. I guess Warnzor is going to be good on that one. And Tyrell's Synced. Sargaris Skull, Troll Burrow, Mass Trolls. I'll go Tree of Life in case I can get Mountain Giants, but there might be another upgrade after that. You never know. Kind of mountain Giants might be too useful for them just being damage soakers. They won't get me much gold. I guess other players can try to get themselves the gold, because it's clear that I've got what looks like support. Increase the life regeneration rate of nearby units by 8 health per second. Heals nearby friendly units. So there's a lot of healing going on with this guy. Wild growth has got to be like tranquility, I assume. very much there for the sub. So what else? So you got advanced barracks for human, town hall for orc, tree of life for night elf, necropolis for undead, temple of the tides for naga, blood elf barracks for blood elf, troll barrow for troll, corrupted tree of life, that's the other version of night elf, more evil version, sargeras skull, attack. I do like the satyrs, they are cool. I guess you can get more than one hero as well if you wanted. Tyrell and the Ice Troll and the Blade Master was picked, as well as the Naga. I guess most other people went random. Not yet, Balador. They got a lot of melee, so they're kind of squishy. They need to bring their units. Oh, speaking of squishing. There's no real cooldown on the rejuvenation. 
Of course, the cooldown is like waiting for the duration, but you can pass on multiple people at least. There's a peasant. They suggested towers, didn't they? You got a wisp. I assume the wisp can get lumber over time. Maybe. You would hope so, because if you're going to spend a thousand gold on it, that's quite a lot. I'll just be at the back sort of healing people, I guess, and making sure I've got clarity potion. Soap might want to upgrade his tower, it's the closest one to the middle of it. Units, first units to get one more random hero could be good. Could be, yeah, could be a good idea. I won't get gold much otherwise because this guy's a support hero. Need to start sniping. Four trains instead of two. Double the trains. Probably helps. Seems like the biggest upgrade. One last cheeky death coil at me. There's all of these to buy. The King of Crips. Work unit. This was where you buy this. It's only 25 gold for that. Which is pretty damn good funny. Stick. That's stupidly cheap for an extra f 6 damage. Give him the stick, boys. Give him... Oh, I see. Those two are different. Now. And you got the more special stuff over here. In the middle. Potions. Even wards are really expensive. Scroll of speed is pretty reasonable. Because then we can get you out of trouble. So can this town portal. Scroll of speed is a lot cheaper though. Huzzah! I got some gold. That was the same time you chose to go in for me. Overclock thinks he's playing Heroes of the Storm. I'm going to try to go in to snipe Chichos units. Because these have got fortified armor. Don't know how far they can get. I guess demolish probably. As long as it's not the mortar teams. I don't know really. The mortar teams seem really strong. Still got the. I think you got the PV boss at the top.
I'm loving that rejuvenation of Kornzor against those Blademasters there. I'm not that quick. I've got slow poison on me, that's why. Coming in to heal up the bottom. Seems like we've got a lot of pressure at the start. Just trying to snipe me. Oh, he's got a stun. I'm debating whether to town portal or not. I guess that was the right decision to not do it. Now I've got to do it. Hero strat. It's probably quite OP. <laughs> as long as you can control it. Depends what heroes it gives me though. The gamble for the random hero each time. Almost definitely. It's more interesting as well to see what it is that I do get. As long as it doesn't misbehave and give me something too bad. Like another one of these or something. I think I'll just return damage. For now. For now. Don't want to be too far away because you want to get the experience. Not sure if experience is global or not. Soap as well, he's got the aura. True shot aura, command aura is pretty strong. Some cheer shot that will shut him up from there. <laughs> the random hero time is it 1750 gold? Oh my gosh, I got the trial. Don't really need his aura, but we got the trial. He's got banish. But I don't have like spells with this guy to benefit from the banish, otherwise the banish would be really strong. Boys. I might keep some behind because I think there's going to be another PvE stage at some point. I've got Triumphs, which are pretty much my units, and they got fortified armor.
I tend to do banish there, so you might actually take more damage from your thing, but I wasn't sure. I can actually rejuve and banish. Got a wild growth here. Recommend to upgrade towers. A bit worried about cannon tower, I'd like team kill him. Do a frost tower maybe. What do you need? Well, there it is. Nature Stay is cool. restless. Command me. Gouch. So this wild grove seems pretty nifty, it's quite cheap. Oh my gosh, that is harder. Where's the sticks? Oh my gosh. I need more mana. Oh my god, they're blasted for a sick <laughs> These guys are struggling, you're going to lose your bases. What the hell? What are you doing? Did you lose your heroes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. <laughs> Better read that then. Round two, I guess. Because they got destroyed there. I still like the idea of hard mode. You just gotta maybe get the defenses you need to get or hold on to your units. So it's just anything and everything. They can't come back from that. That's too devastating. It's up to you what you want to pick, Chichoff. I'm just gonna ram him again. <laughs> oh my gosh, he can fly. He can fly, he can fly, he can fly! <laughs> he only gets so many inventory spots though. Can this guy hit air? I bet he can. Oh, I'm too scared. If he just hits me once, if he can hit air, I'm down. Poison lightning sounds good. <laughs> Snakes. Went in for the snake. Serpent shackles and teleporting. This is like the PvP hero. Whilst they're busy doing that, I'll set up some stuff in those. That's a really tanky eagle. The Thunderhawk has loads of health. What's this magic poison? Oh! Wait. Serpent Shackles. What was that? They got the same hotkey, isn't it? I don't know what's going on. Oh, that one's like him. He got stunned. <laughs> Got poison scarabs as well. I can't. I got. Oh my god! They got fortified armor, but not much health. Fifty fortified armor. Is there a way that you can give artificial health to units? Going for the snipe. How much is the tower going to do to me? That's a funny hero. I'll back up a bit. Why am I waiting? You're gonna need an orb if you want to hit me. It's a poison light. It's called four for bolt. It's weird though, because it looked like it was doing drain life. 
I've still got to use his abilities a few times to work out what it is that he's really doing. Right, Poison Lightning, let's try it. Oh, I see, it's just a one and done. It just looked like a life drain because I didn't hold it for long. So it's a Chain Lightning base, I think. Poison Scarabs. Got a bunch of those just ticking away. There's different ones, though. There's like a bigger one. We got a brilliant Zora as well, which is nice. I might not get a second hero if I got the Schnee. Although, like I say, you can only get four inventory spots. So for items, you just have to get something that's really expensive. I don't think you can get times. I was wondering if they could, like, borrow. Because I could, like, borrow them over here. Snipe. Naga Serpent. Was he a bonus hero or something? I don't think I see him in the list. So he might be a special hero. Serpent Shackle, magically bind the unit so it cannot move. So four on heroes. That's the that's this sort of four second keep them under control. Causes poison the person down that mobilize and disable them. Is that acid bomb? I don't know what that one is. Magic poison. It could just be Shadow Strike. I wonder if I just level up the uh, Scarabs. They seem kind of ridiculous. Although you've got a max that you can have at one time, so maybe I'll just do Serpent Wars again. That's why I thought I was life draining. That was the shackles. Yeah, I bet the scarabs get strong. I'll probably just put the points in the scarabs and serpent wall. He's got chain lightning as well. Like, this one's pretty damn good. As long as you can keep him filled with mana. Some mana regeneration would be nice. There's a ranged combat support hero with web against air heroes. So don't tell them that. Should I fly over and snipe him? Ah, oh, he hit me with a spell. I just used my clarity. He's actually hit me over and over that guy. Cheeky bugger. Sobe mask. 375, but he's got a good chunk of intelligence to start off with, but he's technically an agility here. I'll turn that off and I'll get the upgrade. Level 2. Just 
makes sense that the Naga Serpent will throw down the snakes. There we go, we can do that. We should buy from their shop as well. If we need to see. 400 for the Rover of Intelligence plus 10. That's got some range on it, that magic poison. Just wonder if there's a crown of kings or something. Maybe that. Mana regeneration by 10. That would be good. Does anyone try getting a whiz? range which is quite short. Got level six. Poison aura. Kills enemy units per second. Are you kidding me? Now it feels like maybe I should just get him flat health. So as long as units are just taking damage. It's kind of ridiculous. It's not a percentage health though. It is a number so it would get weaker in the late game. For now, so this one is good. I don't know exactly know what the range is. Looks pretty long. It's probably like that. What an annoying hero. <laughs> for them. Oh, he's going for the kill. He's going for it. I'm not going to get it. We're teft. Thank you very much. I did know about Prime subs. Yes, you can subscribe for free. If you've got Amazon Prime and it's linked to your Twitch account. To any streamer of your choice. It's very useful for helping a streamer. Such as a streamer known as Witty. At twitch.tv slash witty and subscribe to support his content. If you like what it is that he does. The lightning shield can potentially be very strong. If you had something like a strong bear or something, one unit you could stick it in the midst of a whole army. Do some value damage. I think I might just get Crown of Kings or the mana regen. Your armor pen penetration rate. Here. This heals a thousand hit points. Two minute cooldowns, so that's a constant one thousand health. Get out of cat jail card, King of the Jeep. Oh no, you got an 8% chance of stun. Anyone super fast attack. Adds some bonus damage to the hero and they can become range in here. Generation on the points. Movement speed. Increase damage by 60 for 40, 15 seconds. So it's between the mana regeneration, the heal on cooldown and the flat stats. There's more actually. I still got loads of units. 
They're in the base. There's an acolyte. You can buy him. How much health regen is the ring? Six hit points per second, which is, yeah, definitely good. Those are legendary items. So you even save up for the legendary. Plus seven double stats and spell reduction and evasion. See how much this stuff costs. Increase the hit points of the hero by 300, armor by 10. Who's that pig? We got lifesteal. How's the hero's armor by 20? 20 hero armor is pretty good. Pretty goddamn good. Return 90% melee damage. I don't think that works. I don't know if it counts as melee damage if anyone's attacking me, even if they're a melee hero. Pause of speed. Room braces. I think I like the blade bane armor. Truth be told. Oh shit. I can't use it, it's immune to magic. Where's he going? I'm not done with you. He just disappears at the last second. And now he's got his health back. Come on, hurry up and finish him. Oh, 40, all that for 40 gold. Scary looking warlock. We've got another wave coming up in a moment. Yes, my liege. My liege, my liege, my liege. Might need mana pots, to be honest, for what's coming up. But he's gonna get so squished. Come on, Sam. My hero's sort of moving well, Conky. Alright, now we got it. Good boys. They haven't lost their base yet. Wait. 
Wait, there's a potion of invisibility for free. There's a pie down cool then, right? I can hide them over here. Oh, I can. Oh, I think it just puts this straight back down. Kind of. Right, I think that's PvE wave done. Stacking Sobe Mask is perfectly fine as well, but I'm trying to go for the big expensive boys. They got Detect Invisibility. Big items are big, and I only have so many inventory spots. success. Nowhere to hide from the PvP hero. Neck of truth. It's balanced just like Dota and League of Legends. Perfectly balanced. picture you get. Serpent Wars are still stacking up in strength for quite a while. What? The wet? Oh no. What, I what even is that? Sounds like one for the uh, hot tub stream. 
If they had a really strong spell cast, I could be in trouble because my blow now. I was thinking about getting the mana regen item, but at the moment I'm still good on mana. Snake. That's a lot of Serpent Wars stacked up. I think the mana regen one does work. It's, it's out of mana. Yeah, there's not one that really increases your health by a huge amount, as far as I can see. Our forces are under attack. That's even quite cheap, to be honest. I wonder if it stacks. Oh, it says it doesn't stack. Okay. Maybe we should try to kill the boss or something. See if he drops an item for us. I think this might be more balanced than previous versions, but it's hard to say. Oh wait, we got another wave coming up as well. Can I help you? That makes me even faster. Maybe whilst they're distracted with the wave, I can solo the boss. to pull him over. It's quite stubborn. A bit worried about him doing his ability on me a second time because then I'm done. So I think we might get it. There it is. That's all it takes. That frost knife is strong. Boom bruises maybe. There's no spell immunity item as far as I can see. Loom oh, he's too strong I think. Hey, hey Luma Oak. Thank you very much there for the sub. I would chuck every single equipment at him as well. When I come back. Oh you have to click your hero to get him back. He has got life steal, so he actually kind of feeds off this, and he's got cleave. So that kind of sorts out the footman issue, doesn't it? He could level up as well, probably. He's already used his frost knife on you. Let's say, for example, I get rid of this and I get the room braces. So at least he can't hurt me quite so much. Oh, he still does it. Still a massive amount of damage, so good job, room braces, I guess. Maybe not. I just need a healer. Let it. Frost knife has got such crazy long range. Right, he shouldn't be able to kill me with it with 33%. Oh, he's gone again. He's targeting me with it. 
Can we kill him before he gets one more off of me? Oi! Nature's Groves. What's that? Increase the movement speed of the hero. Increase the movement speed of the hero and also increase the attack speed. Sure. Seems kind of cool. Hell, HP item or spell block better. Yeah, spell block item. There's one here. It's once every 300, 100 seconds. The most health I can get isn't that much as far as I can see. Otherwise, that's what I was looking for originally. Or well, something to give me like a thousand health or something. And combine that with the armor. But I don't see it. Battle Giant Strength 10. That's probably about 250 health. Putting the pressure on Razor. The mana Shield keeping him going. The Schnecks push forward. We've got this aura doing 7 health a second as well. We've got to be pretty big damage. Pushed back. Okay, moving forward again. Try with a demolition. Stone damage. Waggers. Thank you very much there. But the sub. Yeah, it said something weird about the wisp. Someone's a wisp for explosion. Uh, probably just to explode on mana. Oh, the rain of fire's giving the razor a hard time. Oh, there's multiples of these. Don't think it stacks, but it can't hurt to try. I think they're going to lose the middle frames. So hard to get to me because I'm a flying hero. If I can just get back. Woodstone's got some crazy fast attack. Wasn't that one one of the most OP heroes from the old days? It's like I think there's two versions of these warlocks. One's a spell cast and another one's like an auto attack. That one, that's the auto attack one. There's the Dark Golem. The most expensive one you can get, so you can get multiples of those for the lols. 
It's only got 650 health, though. I was expecting him to have way more than that. So I was going to buy multiples, but probably not if it's only 650. He does have a 10% chance to do six times more than actually building, so I guess he would be OP if he can just snipe it. Bit cheesy. I can totally do that, but I feel bad doing it, unless it looks like we're going to win anyway. Put your footman to block. Got fortified armor, so I can actually get cannon tower just in case someone sends that on my base. What about a boss down here? And before we lose our base. Greed. The greater greed. Compels thing. Oh, what the hell is that? So strong. I just have fun trying to be honest, but it is oh <laughs> it is a little hopeless. I'll soften him up for you. Maybe we get a taste of his wrath. So that's what that... That entangle is. It's an anti-ground. AoE entangle. AoE entangle is a really cool idea. Might want to create a block. <laughs> or get ready to repair. The time of experience this time will be useful. So I can access my other abilities. Level up my chain lightning a little bit. Did they remove the unit that casts anti magic? I don't know. It's hard to see whilst fighting at the time. I don't see him on first glance. Feel like a banshee. Priest to spell magic. K 
can cast anti magic, yeah. There's a siege column as well. Oh, actually, the dark column is using that. Although he gets the upgrade. That's a lot of spell breakers. Chain line is going to be really helpful. Coming up now. Keep their numbers down. Let's put pressure on Tyrell's base then. Put him out of his misery. Wait, did he get killed? No, he's not got killed. Stacking up the dark golems. One more to get if I can get the gold for it. Moving in. Actually, they don't do as much damage as I thought they would do. They have the chance to do damage to the hero, to the building. But that's six times normal damage, which isn't that much anyway. Man, they are not doing a very fast job. You can upgrade them, yeah, I know, but do you want to? <laughs> I've already bought them now, so I kind of have to, but... Trying to take one of them out. Got the stun. That stun's really obnoxious because this is so fast, the stun. They can't really react to it too well. It's just like instantaneous. And there's not really much of an animation there. They gotta deal with a wave. It's probably a good idea to just at least take one of them out. Because they got to handle the wave at the same time as us attack them. Oh. Get my beetles to do more damage because they got chaos. Trying to keep them alive is so much hard work. Hey. Alright, maybe return back now before we get killed. It'll be way harder for them to handle it. 
just in case. Oh, I get sniped. Stop swarming for me there. I immediately pull back there. Inventory is full. They're not down yet. I just keep doing damage for these trash units. So when they eventually do get a 10 times percent chance to do a 6 times normal damage hit, it'll actually be quite significant. But even then, it's probably still not. It's just a meme. Yeah, Chain Lightning can just feed. Thank you, Bear. I think they got him surrounded. Right Peasant does a much better job of repairing because it's quite hard to kill him at the top. It did require quite a lot of effort. More effort for them than just try and stay alive. These get armor up there. Although they got like one health, it doesn't make much difference. Yeah, they're definitely a lot better, aren't they? <laughs> that chaos is ridiculous. Send in the golems. What if I can get the scepter? Oh, I can't. I'll try to put myself in a second. You can build it on their side. And then start seeding their stuff. Which is obviously a tactic you can use too, which is quite good. Use their mercenary camps against them. I think all my dark columns got picked up. Now <laughs> you wanted to play it. You get what you get. Quality content. I think we did it, boys. I think we vanquished our foes. Good job. Well done. Dalar and Arena. A perfectly balanced map.
All right. I will see you guys um, in the Nexus.